Restoring the elements to the empty may allow life to flourish there once more. But that isn't enough to return the environment to the way it was. No, we need to gradually reintroduce life, beginning with plants. Not just any plants, though, but those that won't be a burden on a weakened land. Such as... If I recall correctly, it thrives in warm climates with cooler nights to promote growth. Yes, yes, that might be suitable. And with a good harvest, we could set some aside for coffee biscuits! Wait, it's you! It seems you caught me rambling to myself. How embarrassing. I've been studying botany, you see. Hoping that the knowledge would help our work in the empty. But never mind that for now. What brings you to the Crystarium? It was my understanding that the final days were behind us. You wish to combat this otherworldly threat with the power of light? Please, let me help. Though I've lost my connection to Hydaelyn, I can still manipulate light to a degree. If there is a chance I could save others with that power, then I have to try. Is done. Zero is now with us in the flesh. The spirit vessel I shall hold on to for operating the tower.
This will help me to make sense of the controls, will it? There's a levity in his words that wasn't there before. It heartens me to know he is well. I shall see to the preparations as per his instructions. My thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. That said, tis customary that my kind receive fitting payment for services rendered. Not unlike we void sent then. In that case, you may devour some of my ether. Are you mad? I'll do no such thing. The very suggestion is absurd. Now, now, let's calm down. We all have our preferences, and I'm sure no offense was intended. I shall attend the tower now. The rest, I leave to you. Zero, was it? My name is Reen. It's a pleasure to meet you. This world isn't what I expected. While light is indeed strong here, it's not pervasive or overwhelming. Everything looks much as it does in the source. We have the Warrior of Darkness to thank for that. If you're interested, I would be glad to show you around. Just an ordinary sky, ordinary and beautiful. To think that after so much loss, they could reclaim this.
But this is the flood of light. I don't remember much of the time when darkness consumed the 13th. Just the cold and the emptiness. Zero? Are you all right? I... I'm fine. You're the one who stopped this. Oh, no, no. That was the first Oracle of Light, Minfilia. She's since left us, but I inherited her power and legacy. I see. Let's get started then, shall we? The other transmitters are set, whenever you're ready. Too much for one steeped in darkness, like me. <gasps> Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. What you couldn't do yesterday? You might still do today. If this power were mine to wield... I will not succumb! Not to darkness! Not a light! Uh, uh, oh! Zero! She's taken light into herself! Her body struggles to contain it. She needs help. now, I think. Then you're very, very lucky. Whatever possessed you to do that? I had to know if I could command the light. If I could change my fate. Once, I would never have dared to dream it. But your friendship and your trust has helped me to see new possibilities in myself and everything else. Perhaps that's why 
When I beheld this world once damned yet saved, I saw the potential for mine to be saved as well. To become a world where light and darkness are in harmony and life flourishes. A world where we're not consumed by insatiable hunger, but filled with hope for what we might create together. If I had the strength, perhaps I could make such a dream reality. Perhaps I could awaken us from this endless nightmare. That's what possessed me. If that's your heartfelt desire, then you mustn't be afraid to share it. There was a time when I lacked the courage. To voice my desires was to burden those I love, or so I convinced myself. But then I met those who believed in me. They helped me to believe in myself, and find the strength to live. And so long as I'm alive, I know that I'll be fine. No matter how dire things seem, no matter where I am. To be able to think that brought me peace. And it's a blessing I owe entirely to my friends. Those who believe in us. I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. As a friend, I'd like to help you fulfill your dream. If you wish to take in more light, I can keep the power in check and help your body accept it. So it would seem. Right then. I'm counting on you. Here I go. feel it. The light's warmth welling within me. Then I believe it worked. With this power, I will return to the void and fight for the world that once was and for those I hold dear.
All is in readiness. Without further ado, then. Light from beyond the rift, shine forth and banish the darkness. Excellent. The tower is replete with light from the Bath Arang. Commencing transmission! This light illuminate your way. You can do it, Zero. I believe in you. An opening. It worked. Let us waste no time and sally forth. Alas, I fear the breach may be too narrow for you, Vritra. For a blessing, I prepared my simulacrum for such an eventuality. My true form shall stand guard here, while we explore the chasm. Tis faint, but I sense the presence of a dragon. No doubt my sister's essence trapped within Zeromus. Not where she was held captive before, but somewhere much deeper. The descent will not be so easy this time. The chasm swarms with void scent. Summoned by Golbez, perhaps, or born of the residual darkness. However they came to be, we shall cut a path through them. Is everyone ready? Zero? That light should shine in the void once more. No single one of us could have made it so. Only by joining hands were we able to kindle this light. Do you see, Golbez? We needn't damn others to save ourselves. You knew this once, surely, when you tried to befriend me. 
when you were one of the precious few left willing to trust in another. But that man is gone, and in his place, a mockery of his beliefs. <gasps> it's the same as before. Though we walk different paths, we seek the same destination. And yet... There is something I must know. A truth that lies waiting in the dark. Golbez! This can't be happening. Not to you! My friend! My hero! I will stop you even should it cost me my life! Why? Why you and not me? You were the best of us. A paragon of virtue. I could never hope to be your equal. I am only the knight I am because of you. Because you believed in me! Uh. Uh. 
You would not wish to become a monster, preying upon those who fought to protect. But neither can I bring myself to kill you. So rest easy, my friend, and entrust your legacy to me! You will never die. This I swear. Through me your name shall live on as the hero who saves the world. We've been released from the memory, t'would seem. If Golbez was the one sealed in this memoria, then the one we've been fighting is... No more than an imposter playing at hero. Durante, I presume. A name long since lost to time. History shall remember only Golbez. Come what may, I shall deliver the world its salvation, and I will not suffer you to interfere. You seek to free all souls from the purgatory of undeath. And to that end, you would invade another world. While I cannot condone your methods, I understand your motive full well. For I'm driven by the same. I too wish to save our world. I too once thought I had to bear the burden by myself. That I had no choice but to walk my path alone. But I was wrong. We may yet strive together towards our shared goal. If you would reconsider your course. Ha <laughs> ha. 
If you possessed power which transcended that of Zeromus, then perhaps I would. But you do not. No, you are but another Voitsant like me. And what is a candle before the sun? Perhaps we aren't all powerful, and cannot effect great change in an instant. Even so... Great change is what we need. Aught less has no meaning. Having glimpsed our past, you should understand as well as any. As Golbez, I dedicated myself to ending the Contra Memoria. I fought the corrupted Memoriates and attempted to redeem those twisted by their power. Yet try as I might, I was powerless to make any meaningful change. Twas then, when I was floundering in despair, that she appeared. The Asian Igeom. Claiming to know how to excise the source of our woes, she showed me to the moon where the servant of light abided. Twas he and his ilk who had granted men unnatural powers, she said, and now prolonged the war. Believing her every word, I struck him down and caused darkness to engulf the world. What? Then it was you who... As Emmett Selk once told us, the 13th was the Asians' first attempt at a rejoining before they fully understood the mechanisms at play. They failed because they sought only to awaken the Sundered Zodiac without instigating a calamity in the Source. The darkness they unleashed had nowhere else to go. Having left a ruin of our world, the Asian fled. I was a fool to trust them, to trust in others. Since that day, I have sought the means to undo my mistake. The world may be beyond saving, but I would at least restore the great flow. The dragon was an extraordinary windfall, a veritable font of ether that expedited my endeavors time and again. But it wasn't enough to achieve my objective. Far from it. For an eternity, I had to bide my time. But the day finally came when I acquired the power I sought. I, the remnants of the Asians god sealed within the moon, suddenly dispersed into ether. With that ether, Zeromus could be conceived and driven by the dragon's longing for home, it shall soon arise to destroy the barrier between worlds. Thus will the way open to the promised land and the death we have been too long denied. Thus will I, Golbez, 
bring salvation to all. So that is all you have left. Say what you will. You cannot stop Zeromus's awakening. We're going after him, aren't we? Aye. That's why we came, after all. And besides... When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them. In others and yourself. Eulis was right about that. to the moment our salvation is realized. But nothing must be left to chance. I will stop you here, no matter the cost. As I am, I knew that I would be hard-pressed to fight you on equal terms. And so I lured you to this place, where the advantage is mine. Archfiends live? Impossible. Scarmiglione and Barbariccia were sealed in memoria, while Cagnazzo and Rubicante died in the source. You're not wrong. They are not the true Archfiends, but shades born of their residual ether. If they are shades, then their strength will pale in comparison. Even should they fight as one, we may yet prevail. We'll tend to the Archfiends. Go and put an end to Zeromus. You'll do no such thing. We'll join you as soon as we can.
is too late. Seromus will awaken, and it shall devour any who come between it and its desire. Your companion is no exception. I wouldn't be so sure. Time and again, she has faced insurmountable odds. But no matter how hopeless things seemed, she's never given up the fight. So long as she has strength of will to forge on, then so too shall we. For we believe in her, and she believes in us. And together, our light can pierce blackest darkness.
Are you all right? Like all void scent, Zeromus cannot be killed. Sealing it in memoria is the only way. My dear friend, fell for the Asian's ploy and unleashed the darkness. And after an eternity of waiting, I find myself on my knees. How disappointed must you be in me, in the foolishness and futility of it all? No, I will not let it be for naught. I will not allow you to pass. I will triumph in my crusade. There is no triumph to be found in this madness. Even if the veil were to be unraveled, it would not undo what darkness has done to the world. Nor would it bring Golbez back. From his slumber, you know there is no return. You're weak and imperfect. You know it in your heart. In spite of this, do you truly believe that you can save everyone? Are you sure you will not fail? I'm no better. Weak and imperfect and plagued by doubt. Which is why I need friends to walk beside me. Light? <sighs> but how? This is proof that I believe in others, and they in turn believe in me. A light that illuminates the way in darkest despair. Be it in a ruined city locked in ice, or a world drowning in light, it was with faith in one another that life endured. I see it clearly now. You think we are capable of the same? It won't be easy. Having lived too long as Void Scent, we've forgotten how to trust. But one thing is certain. If Zeromus succeeds and everyone dies, 
we'll never have the chance to try. You asked me to join hands with you once, and I refused. I cannot take back that mistake, but I can extend to you the same offer. We can be better than we have been. years ago. <laughs> yes, I remember now. We hoped you would join us in our quest to end the Contra Memoria. But you rejected us outright. It left both of us discouraged. Golbez most of all. If we could but overcome the fear that has shaped and divided us, we could change everything. Even in the midst of that terrible war, he never stopped believing in others. Not even at the end. You're Golbez now. If you would live up to his name, then you must trust in people as he did. I cannot forgive what you have done to my sister, but she may yet be saved. If you can help us see her safely home, and protect the source. Then... As Zero's friends, we should gladly share what knowledge we have to help you restore the Void. You truly believe the world of old can be ours again? I do, so long as we work together. We will disperse Zeromus' essence once more. The instant we do, you must call to Ajdaya. Understood.
The suffocating darkness. Like that of the rift. Impenetrable. Disorienting. Untethered. And drifting further away. Be strong, Zero. Don't give up. Hold fast to yourself. Look to the light within. Your place isn't alone in the dark, Zero. Not anymore. Of course. With this power from beyond the rift, I can do it. I can save everyone. Albez, if you would make amends, then lend me your strength. and return to me! Oh, Urza. Zeromus makes to resurrect. Not if I have anything to say about it. No more, fiend! You're safe now, Ashdaya. You're safe.
To my sister, I shall offer up the eye in this vessel. We dragons bring forth progeny with our very life force. That which my eye harbors should be enough to grant her corporeal form. Of course, this means I shall no longer have control over this vessel. I must ask you escort Ajdaya to the surface in my stead. <laughs> we came to bring her home, and we'll do just that. You have my word. Thank you. At long last, we shall be together again. Where are you going? Our world may yet be restored. I thought it an impossible dream once, but having witnessed your miracles, I cannot help but believe. Nevertheless, I am the villain who wrought this tragedy. And in my misguided crusade, I compounded my sins. My place is not at your side. <laughs> Regardless of how you may feel, by lending me your strength, you've made amends. You've earned a new beginning. It's up to you what we become to one another. What we couldn't do yesterday, we might still do today. Working together. And should we want for strength, we need only rally more like-minded souls to our cause. So let's take the first step. The two of us.
Words cannot well express my relief that we could rescue my sister. Nor my gratitude to all of you. What of him, Golbears? He felt it would be inappropriate for him to be present at your reunion with Ajdaya, and chose to remain down in the chasm. If you wish to hear an apology, however, I should be glad to drag him here. Nay, that shall not be necessary. By his deeds hath he demonstrated his contrition. So, what will you do now? I've learned much, journeying together with you. Experienced things I could never have experienced alone. Together with Golbez, I hope to do the same as we labor to restore the 13th. Then I suppose it's farewell for now. Be sure to share with Golbez what you've learned of the Source and its reflections, as well as the true nature of light and dark. He is as resourceful as he is determined, and will surely make the very most of the insights. Indeed. Once we've gained a better understanding of the situation, I hope we can rely on your counsel. But of course, I too shall continue probing new possibilities, the better to be of aid when the time comes. Ah, speaking of which... From ocean rise and cloud bank form, from mountain spring and rainfall storm, from river flow and life be born. Come forth, my servant! I revised the incantation, which is not to say you know how it went before. Are we clear? Nidana provided me with spare warding scales, which apparently provide greater protection than before. This should keep the familiar safe. So long as you give the Nixie Aether from time to time, it will persist and serve as a beacon for us to find you. Already we find ourselves with a new ally. Thank you. When you have the chance, Please thank everyone for me. Those in Razatan, Garlemald, Charlien. The first and on the moon. A lengthy list. A gift for Reen. In return for the light she helped me harness. It's the memoria holding Xeromus. 
If used to augment darkness in the first, it may help to create balance between our worlds. An excellent idea. Similarly, why not entrust the Archfiend's Memoria to Zero? In that case, I shall pass them on to Golbez, to inspire and admonish him in equal measure. You will, I'm sure. Just don't try to forcibly summon me. I won't come. No matter where we are, or how much time passes, our bond will endure. This I believe. Oh, it's you again. Is everything all right?
So you were able to rescue Ashdaya. Thank the Twelve. Channeling light from the first was rather ingenious. It may fall short of cross-rift travel, but it's still an impressive achievement in my book. You're too kind. Suffice it to say, though, that I don't intend to rest on these laurels. There's always more to be done. Zero stayed in the void, did she? Well, if I had known it would come to that, I would have said a proper farewell. Really? I don't remember saying anything profound. Still, I'm glad that she got something out of her time here. As the days roll on, things will change for the both of us. But some things will remain as they are. As far as I'm concerned, Zero will always be a friend and comrade. And I will never forget her. If she's working tirelessly to restore the 13th, it wouldn't do to be outdone here. When next Zero visits, we must see to it that you have a shiny new Garlemald to show her. Indeed. And speaking of rebuilding, there's a matter I'd like to discuss with you and Alphino. Word has spread of our dealings with Razat Han, and people are excited by the prospect of standing on our own two feet again. Naturally, it won't be straightforward, <laughs> it never is, but on the whole, I have a good feeling about things. In other words, it may be time for us to limit our involvement, that Garleans might take the lead? I can see the sense in that. No, no, that's not what I meant at all. Seeing as things are going well, we want you to take a rest. A proper rest. That's what I wanted to say on everyone's behalf. You've done so much for us already. Toiled beside us in the cold for far longer than anyone could ask. You've earned a reprieve a hundred times over. So go on. Step away from here and head wherever you like. But if it were me, I'd choose somewhere warm. I was thinking of taking a break anyway. Far be it from us to go against such a heartfelt request. Though I would be lying were I to say matters here wouldn't weigh on our minds. We could take a leaf out of Zero's book and roam about for a while. Maybe visit nations who share little history with Garlemald. Look for opportunities to foster future relations. We might learn something of recent foreign affairs that has escaped our notice. Hmm. As an independent party, we would be well suited to the task. An excellent idea, Alizé. Well, that hardly sounds like a rest at all. To us, it is the best kind of rest. Stimulating and meaningful. If it's settled, then let's return to Charlien and consider our options. What about the rest of you? 
Do you have any plans? We're indebted to Lord Fortuno and his colleagues for their cooperation. It would be meet to report on the outcome of our mission. Then it seems we are all bound for Charlian. Upon arriving, let us seek out Athelise at the Rostra and have her notify father. Ah, yes. The king has already shared what they glimpsed in the source. The day is won, and the danger past. Hearing the tidings lifted a great weight from my shoulders. Never before had I taken on such a monumental request. Small though it was, we are glad to have played a role in saving the Exarch's home. And yours. Furthermore, the endeavor served to reaffirm the bond between the peoples of Norvrant. Nurturing this bond, we will strive to be an example for the world Zero aspires to restore. crystal. I can feel it. The tremendous darkness within. Using darkness from the void to restore balance to this world. If such a thing could be done! Well, well. Though night has returned to our world, Darkness cannot arise of its own accord, much less in abundance. But if it could be brought here in like manner to how we channeled light to the void, it may well be possible to restore the empty in its entirety. Do you still have that spirit vessel with you? If so, I beg you loan it to me for a time. I would use it to investigate a way to have the tower receive rather than send energy. Thank you. While I make no promises at this stage, I shall rigorously explore the possibility. I too need to explore new possibilities for my powers. My recent experience at Nabatharang has taught me that. To that end, I will set aside botany for a time, and focus instead on myself. Knowing Zero is out there, doing her utmost to restore her own world. It inspires me to redouble my efforts. There you are. I waited and waited, but you never came. What have you been doing here? Do I know you? Ugh. 
I never agreed to anything of the sort. Besides, coffee biscuits are old news. I'd rather try something else. What? I thought you liked them too. Well, no matter. The second serving has something for every taste. So let's just go. Enough about that. What were you talking about? Harnessing darkness from the void. Now there's an idea. Of course, if you're dealing with darkness, Reen alone won't cut it. Next time, call on me as well, all right? <laughs> it cannot be. <laughs> oh, Vashan, my darling little brother, <laughs> to think that I will never see you again. The way you carry on, anyone would think he was actually your brother. Save your tears now. His Excellency still has one of his eyes. And he has made it clear he intends to continue using his vessel. You'll see Varshan again. Never fear. Truly? But will it be the little one? Personally, I prefer the adult vessel. It cuts a gallant figure and his superior functionality besides. Bah! I don't care about such things. My little brother is little and adorable. Sisters, give me strength. It is a fine thing being so loved. Had enough of the revelry, have you? So, what's next for our hero? No need to decide just yet. You'll recall our escapades in the void began with a treasure map I paid entirely too much guilt for. You can't force an adventure. It'll happen when it happens. And you'll know when the time is right. Till then, it's good to lend an ear to others and their tales. And speaking of others... Discussing each other's plans, are we? Alas, I have nothing exciting to share. I foresee an extended confinement in my Charlian chambers, compiling my theories on cross-rift travel. My research may be classified, prohibited by the powers that be. 
But so long as a bond exists between people, ever shall our worlds be connected. As it stands, a means to travel to the first is within reach, and I would be satisfied even should my research not exist in an official capacity. And what of you, Estinian? Have you any plans? <laughs> he never was one to stay put for long, though I've no doubt he will make himself known when needed. Everything appears to be in order. Oh, oh, finished at last. So time consuming. How nice would it be to have a mammoth to handle such tasks? Then, let's have a look at you. Quite old, this letter. We'll need to store it carefully. Addressed to Grandfather, and come all the way from Tuli Yolal, from a Gulu... someone. Oh, the ink's too faded. Hardly anything is legible. Come on, give me something. Commission to investigate the Golden City in Tural. How odd. No one ever mentioned such a commission, nor have I seen any records. Hmm. Something else in here. Unusual earring. How does it relate to the petition, I wonder? Oh, did you go there, Grandfather? To the Golden City in Tural? <sighs> Back again already, after making a show of leaving. Well, this is it, Charlene. 
Quite a far cry from Tuliolal, yes? Come, let's go and find your candidate, our adventure friend. <laughs> 